Welcome to the final episode of my Black Ops 4 Blackout Dark Ops Challenge Guide series. After the latest update to the game today, the ninth and final Blackout Dark Ops Challenge was found. Now there had been a lot of speculation as to what this was. Someone apparently data mined a Dark Ops image of a guy sitting in a helicopter with a machine gun, which led to a wild goose chase of false information. The challenge is actually called Stay Tuned and it simply says to activate the emergency broadcast. Now unfortunately, despite getting this final challenge complete, there's no master calling card in the Blackout version. And to me, this is extremely disappointing. I had assumed that each game mode had a master calling card, but the fact that you get absolutely nothing for completing all nine is severely underwhelming. And by the way, this update also fixed the back in the ground calling card. Before, it was the same as the red light, green light one. As you can see though, they clearly made it zombie oriented, which is how it was intended to be. Now to do this stay tuned challenge, it's incredibly easy, as most of these dark ops have been. Our destination on the map is Array, and in particular, the domed centerpiece of this location. You can find the exact location here on your minimap. Now this area is usually relatively populated, so it would be wise to grab a weapon first as fast as possible. And again, we need to enter the dome looking structure of Array. As soon as you enter it, you'll find a staircase leading up, which is where we want to go. If you can't find any weapons and enemies lurk nearby, MacGyver your way to a victory by outsmarting them. Once the coast is finally clear, you'll see a bunch of consoles with buttons all over them. You can go up to these and hit every button imaginable, but nothing will work. However, one specific console has a green light on it. This is the one we want to mess with. Walk up to it and hit square on the PS4, X on the Xbox, or F on PC. Upon doing this, you'll whack the console and make an array, no pun intended, of things happen. In particular, the satellite on top of the building will rise up and broadcast an emergency message all throughout the map. What's interesting to note is that you can actually hear this at different spots through little radios found on the map. And this is one way to spook the ever-living crap out of another player halfway across the map. And here's what the message sounds like, but be warned, it's a bit muffled. Now as is normally the case, there's no indication whatsoever once you complete this challenge. In order to view your reward, you have to die first or win the match. And that, as they say, is that. That's the ninth and final Blackout Dark Ops challenge. It's a bit surprising to me that this wasn't found earlier, but I think it was probably glitched. I'm 99% sure that someone tried to activate this before. Now whether you could do this prior to the patch or not, I'm not sure. So if you missed any of my other 8 guides on these challenges, I'll leave a playlist in the description as well as in the comments. Of note, I have started doing the multiplayer Dark Ops challenges as well, and I've also got the zombie ones on the way too, so stay tuned.